हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज हम चैप्टर थ्री द लिटिल गर्ल पढ़ेंगे तो शुरुआत करेंगे टाइटल से द टाइटल ऑफ द स्टोरी द लिटिल गर्ल इज अप्रोप्रिएट एज इट इज अबाउट लिटिल केजिया ऑल द एपिसोड इन द स्टोरी डिस्क्राइब द एक्सपीरियंसेस ओपिनियंस एंड ऑब्जर्वेशन मेड बाई केजिया This story is in fact narrated from the point of view of Kezia alone. Her views about her father, her mother, her grandmother, their cook allies and their neighbors McDonald's. Let the reader know what a little girl thinks and how she feels regarding the people around her. Thus the title is appropriate. Theme The story is based on the theme of a young child's point of view about her father. Children take time to understand the actions of their elders. Till then, they tend to develop negative opinion and sometimes even distrust. However, as kids grow older, their attitudes towards their elders undergoes change. The theme of this story is based on this process of change that makes little children notice the soft and caring heart of their overly strict elders. Message The story conveys a beautiful message that there is a very strong bond between parents and children. This bond has the strength to survive every type of challenge. However, in order to prepare their little children for the hardships of adult life, parents resort to strict punishment. And it is difficult for children to understand the true motive behind the stern actions of their parents. As a result, they develop negativity. Therefore, the story gives message to both the children and parents. Children should trust their parents and the parents should understand the physical punishment. can leave emotional scars that hampers the growth of a balanced personality of their child so the responsibility to strengthen the parent child bond rests equally on both now characters kezia the young female protagonist of the story the little girl is an emotional and sensitive girl she is as much affected by her father's dis Disciplinarian attitude by his love. The behavior of Kezia is typical of a young girl. She sees her father as the boss of the family, who must be served popu, sorry properly all the time. So she feels relieved when he leaves for work every morning. Kezia is an obedient girl. She is afraid of her father and wishes to avoid him. still she takes off his shoes when her mother asks her to however she fears her father so much that she begins to stutter in her presence sometimes she even thinks that there should not have been any fathers in this world when she compares herself to other children she is pained up to absorb that Her father does not pamper her like the fathers of other children. Kezia is innocent but impulsive. She makes a pin cushion for her father as a birthday gift, but innocently picks up his important papers as stuffing for the pin cushion. Impulsively, she tears those papers without seeking permission and hence spoils matters. Kezia's strong bond with her father comes to fore when she is quick to absorb his affection on the night she gets terrified by a bad dream she feels happy when her father protectively takes her to his bed and comforts her her distrust for him changes into appreciation for hard work she admires his big heart and discovers her love for him She changes from a resenting and frightened girl to a soft-hearted, understanding and affectionate daughter. Kezia's father. Kezia's father displays two divergent characteristics in the story. Initially, he appears as a domineering head of the family and demands complete obedience from other members. He wants them to be at his beck and call all the time. 
As soon as he returns home in the evening, he wants his tea brought to him along with the newspaper. Instead of taking off his shoes himself, he makes Kezia do it for him. He is so strict that with his daughter that the poor girl stutters in front of him and feels revealed when he leaves for work in the morning. This negative aspect of his personality is highlighted even more when he punishes Kezia with a ruler. It appears that he fails to understand the innocent emotions of daughter who damages his paper accidentally. However, the positive effect or aspect of his persona surfaces when he takes care of his little girl in the absence of the woman of the household. He not only carries her in his arms to his room but also tucks her comfortably in his bed. He asks her to rub her feet with his legs to make them warm. This reveals his paternal affection, protective nature and caring attitude. Kezia's father thus makes a typical father who possesses a stern exterior which actually hides a soft, affectionate and tender big heart full of love. Kezia's Grandmother Kezia's grandmother is addressed as Granny by Kezia and as Mother by Kezia's father, her son. Her character comes up as a mature and understanding elder in a household. She does not question the authoritarian attitude of her son but keeps prodding her young granddaughter to make efforts to build her bond with her parents. She advises Kezia to talk nicely to her parents when they are relatively relaxed on Sunday afternoons. She does not interfere in any matters of the household and simply provides background support. When Kezia's father punishes Kezia with a ruler, grandmother wraps her in a shawl and rocks her in a chair, clinging her to her soft body. She is a mature woman who understands the upbringing of children is a delicate issue and parents should be allowed to discipline their children in their own way. Grandmother's supportive character can also be seen when she accompanies her daughter-in-law to the hospital. Hence, grandmother is an important character even though she remains mostly in the backdrop. Thank you friends.